Kira would be scolding me for bad technique. She taught you just fine. You don't need hand-holding. Just wish I felt steadier out here. All these new challenges. We're making it through. Sometimes that's all you need. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? I don't care where anyone sleeps, as long as we realize what a kick-ass team we have. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning. A number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. I'm working with a veteran to track down prosthetic gel and those other items we discussed. You're too good to be dark. Nothing for me. My favorites, Lexi. What? No.
So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Why do you sort them that way? Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment, doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. Thanks for the insight. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Report from the Nexus, populations growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. 
I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow, you fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. to your notebook. Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. 
as if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist, as if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. You definitely have an interesting perspective on the interplay between faith and science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Tell you what. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who were you talking to? Cash, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Cash said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. You can't make sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules, or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. 
Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Hello, Ryder. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. You have grown as a result, and so have I. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Threshamores eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Uh... Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
messing with that vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here, I don't care how the vault's doing it. Magnificently. That's how. Mm. I prefer tech with more exposed vaults. If you can't open it, you don't own it. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone, bleh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is... not even worth thinking about. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who. ...and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean... ...someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway... You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for it. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. 
I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Kello? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? What's your social circle like? Oh, I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Can't say I have. Well, let me tell you, it's tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation, imagining which would be worse. But hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime.
Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie, frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Traditional is a weird term for family. Like, normal. Who's that describe? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep to tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it.
familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. I'm picking up something. Probe away. Getting a scan. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne... Certainly. The Initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. 